Okay, so you've just bought the latest camera full of great technology. So why are you still getting underexposed or dark images? Don't worry, it's not your fault. You know you're doing everything correctly. The problem is the camera's inability to reproduce what the human eye sees. The human eye is dynamically adjusting for exposure, whereas the camera can only use a single aperture for each image it captures. This is important, so let's say it again. The reason your images are often too dark is because of physical limitations of camera, the single aperture. Let's look at this further. The image that the camera captures is a single exposure representation of the subject and looks nothing like what we saw when we viewed the image with our own eyes. Why does this happen? It's impossible for a single aperture to open and close at the precise instant and properly expose everything in a photo. This will continue to be an issue as long as cameras have a single aperture. So as we show here, the single aperture can't properly expose the flower, face, and sky so that each part is perfectly exposed. What the camera does is calculate an overall exposure between the bright sky and the dark flowers and averages out to a normal exposure. But the reality is that you can't see the face of the beautiful flower because only one item is properly exposed. Here's a real life example. Due to the bright sky, you can't see the face of the flower. But you want to see the details in the face so you expose for the face. Unfortunately, the brilliant blue sky that you saw with your eyes is now washed out, and the buildings look washed out too. Now in frustration, you're exposed to capture the beautiful blue sky that your eyes can see. But the rest of the image is now too dark and you can't see the face. Let's review how the human eye works. The iris, the eye's equivalent to an aperture, is constantly adjusting itself to optimally expose for the subjects you want to capture. As you're looking around, your eye's irises are adjusting to optimally expose everything. The rapid adjustments of the eyes equals a wide dynamic range, which means everything that catches your focus is recorded with the equivalent of a good exposure setting. The flower, the face, and the beautiful blue sky. Perfectly clear can see the image just like your eyes do when you were taking the image. It's able to see each area differently and make the correct exposure for all the elements in the image by making adjustments pixel by pixel. The resulting image is like every pixel had its very own personal lens exposure adjustment. Notice how perfectly clear is maintained the color DNA in the image, keeping rich vibrant color. Flesh tones are nice and rich, with vibrant green foliage and a beautiful blue sky. Think of this graphically, instead of relying on a single aperture to capture the entire dynamic range of the image, perfectly clear will correct each pixel independently as if it was taken with its own aperture. It's as if your 21 megapixel photo was taken with 21 million individual lenses, each with its own aperture adjustment for correct exposure. Perfectly Clear optimizes the dynamic properties of light and mimics the way our human eyes work. Most importantly, Perfectly Clear maintains the color DNA of the image. This means your photos will be true to life with accurate colors. This is why perfect exposure is different from anything you've worked with before. Getting any further into the science of perfect exposure is beyond the scope of this video, but I'd like to encourage you to read all about it on our website under the science section. Let's look how perfect exposure works in action. As you can see, all the various images have been automatically adjusted by applying just the right amount of exposure correction. Perfectly clear can take advantage of a wide range of exposures and adjusting wonderfully making each image fantastic with rich color. There is no need to apply any additional color adjustments. Perfectly Clear gives you the ability to tweak the level exposure as well. If you'd like to lighten the image, simply move the slider bar to the right, to the left if you would like a little bit darker. All the science we discussed above has been incorporated into this one single slider. Moving the slider to the right will increase the exposure in the darker areas much more than in the brighter areas just like having a wide aperture for shadows and a small aperture for the bright sky. Think of the possibilities. You can batch process thousands of photos in just one click. We've also provided you with the ability to adjust the strength of automatic perfect exposure. If overall you'd like brighter images, select the high button. If you prefer a little darker exposure, select the low. Or you can turn off auto exposure by clearing the checkbox here. Now you can save your custom settings as a new preset. Then use your new personal preset when you batch process for beautiful consistent image corrections. Thank you for watching All About Exposure. I'd like to invite you to view our other videos on additional corrections that Perfectly Clear can perform on your images with just one click.